A question a lot of miners have been asking, is the RX 6600 worth investing in? Well, what do you think? Today I will answer that question and help you decide if it will be a viable option for you or not. What is up miners and welcome back to the 3Fox Company YouTube channel. The RX 6600 is generally considered as an entry-level gaming GPU and it's only capable of 1080p gaming. So for gamers, it might not be an attractive proposition, but for mining, it's a whole new story. Now the RX 6600 might not have the density of an RTX 3090, capable of about 120 megahashes per second on Ethereum, but its secret weapon is efficiency. But who cares about Ethereum anyways, as soon it will be gone. At this current moment, the RX 6600 is one of the most efficient GPUs. No seriously, it is one of the most overlooked GPUs and it's definitely worth looking into its performance. So you might think, what exactly makes the RX 6600 so special? You see, it only gets 29 megahashes per second on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, 14 megahashes per second on Ravencoin and Neoxa, but don't be fooled by these numbers. We should really only be focusing on efficiency rather than brute horsepower. Just a quick note for those miners that might not be familiar with the term efficiency. In short, a GPU is more efficient if it uses less power for the same hash rate than a GPU that is less efficient, which will in turn uses more power for the same hash rate. Remember, not all GPUs are made equally. So let's look at some real-time performance from my RX 6600 GPUs. So if we go into my 6600 and 6600 XT mix rig, you can see all the GPUs that I've got here. So I've got three RX 6600s, two of them which have got Samsung memory and one of them that's got Hynix memory. I actually found that the ones with Hynix memory gives a little bit better performance at a slightly lower wattage. In this instance, you can see that I'm currently mining Ravencoin on this rig. I'm getting 14.7 mega ashes per second 14.7 again and 14.7 again on all three GPUs at an average of 49 watts reported in the software. If we just look quickly at the overclock settings that I'm using, you can see I'm running a core clock of 1200 megahertz, a core voltage of 635 millivolts, memory controller voltage of 620 millivolts, a memory clock of 950 megahertz, memory voltage of 1105 millivolts and currently I'm not using a power limit or I'm not utilizing the SOC frequency or the SOC VDD max. Also when compared to the RX 6600 XT's you can see that I'm getting a slightly higher hash rate on the XT's which has to be expected but it comes at a significantly lower wattage which obviously have a great impact on the efficiency of this GPU. We can go into Hive Shell and have a look at the poolside performance of this GPU. So GPU Zero you can see this is one of the RX 6600s that I've got. Currently it's reporting 14.68 mega ashes per second. The average that it's been running is 14.64 mega ashes per second and on the pool I'm actually getting 17.48 mega ashes per second although this varies depending on the number of shares submitted to the pool. Just as a general for this whole rig which is a 6600-6600XT mixed rig I'm getting around 145-143 mega ashes per second at an average pool side of about 142 mega ashes per second and this rig really only uses about 750 watts for nine GPUs in total, which just proves that the RX 6600 and the 6600 XTs are extremely efficient, even on coins like Ravencoin. If we go back to HiveOS, just look at the fan speeds that I'm running. I'm currently 
I'm having an auto fan setting of 55 degrees on the core and 70 degrees on the memory as I found that I don't get any thermal throttling on that values and also I keep my GPUs at a constant temperature so that eliminates or reduces uh, thermal degradation over a period of time and you can see I'm quite stable on the temperature setting that I've got on the core and the fans are running very low so that means even on Ravencoin this GPU does not produce a lot of heat it runs extremely cool for the environment that it runs in so that is very beneficial when running algorithms like Ravencoin I'm curious to know what your strategy is when buying GPUs and if you favor hash rate density or best efficiency, please pause this video quickly and let me know in the comments section below. I have to mention that currently the most popular GPU without a doubt is the RTX 3070. The 3070 has been proven to be very efficient on most coins and this is also reflected by its price. Now you might ask, why the f am I mentioning this? Well, let me tell you a little secret. The RX 6600 is actually more efficient than an RTX 3070. And guess what? It costs way less. While most GPU prices came down significantly since their all-time highs, the RTX 3070's price have not seen the same percentage of decline. So it opened up a whole new market to miners who want efficiency while still on a budget by getting an RX 6600 at a lower dollar per mega hash price point. Should you go out and buy a RX 6600 GPU? Well, the answer will depend on your personal goals and your personal financial situation. As mentioned, if you are seeking for extreme efficiency whilst on a budget, then the RX 6600 is a great option. As a matter of fact, I have ordered more 6600s to complete my 12 GPU 6600 and 6600 XT rig. I personally believe that the RX 6600 de deserves much more attention. So please help me spreading the word by sharing this video. Now do you want to see how you can save money on your electrical bill whilst mining? Then check out this video next. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you in the next video.